What is good, Guardians? Welcome to another Destiny 2 video from Ultimate Casual Gaming, the home for the casual gamer. I'm just flexing. And in today's video, we're going to look at my top five legendary kinetic weapons for PvP. As with my previous top five video, this list is mainly aimed at the casual player. Now, I'm not excluding the hardcore player, but our channel is focused on the casual, and these lists are designed to help casual players figure out the best guns to use in Destiny 2. The rankings are based on the following criteria. One, ease of use. Two, versatility. And three, fun factor. The fun factor is unique to our rankings, but hey, having fun is super important, and I don't know about you, but I like to use guns that are fun to shoot. Just a heads up, this list doesn't include exotics, just legendaries. We'll do separate lists on exotic weapons in the future. In addition, it doesn't include guns from Trials of the Nine. As my merry band of casuals right now, we're not able to win much in Trials, to be honest. I know that makes the list incomplete, and I know that Trials offers some pretty sweet weapons. However, as I said, this list is mainly for the casuals out there, and if you're good enough to win a bunch of bunch of matches and trials, then you're pretty awesome, more power to you, and you likely don't need this list anyway. As always, if you find the information in this video useful, a like is truly appreciated. Now let's go ahead and get into the top five kinetic weapons for PvP. Coming in at number five is the Lincoln Green. This gun is certainly an acquired taste. You can do well with it in PvP, as I've been killed with it on a number of occasions. But as pulse rifles are not in the best place in PvP in, in terms of the meta, you'll definitely have to pick your engagements with this weapon wisely. At its ideal range, this gun is certainly formidable. It has a very high rate of fire and decent stability. It also has pretty solid impact for a pulse rifle, and if you're hitting headshots consistently, you're going to win a decent number of engagements. But that's where the downside of this weapon begins, if you're hitting headshots. Lincoln Green has a pretty nasty recoil pattern, which often pulls to the side instead of straight up and down. I'd really recommend equipping some armor with a kinetic mod for the recoil pattern in order to at least get the weapon's recoil to go straight up and down. If you have this option, then the gun certainly earns its spot on this list and is very formidable, again, at its ideal range. The Nightshade comes in at number four. This is a really good weapon for folks. You can tell by looking at the perks on this gun that this baby was built to wreck shop in PvP. Many will remember this gun from the Destiny 2 beta where it absolutely reigned supreme. Now I'm a huge fan of pulse rifles for my Destiny 1 days and I must say I have been pretty disappointed with where pulse rifles are in this current PvP meta. That said, the Nightshade is still a very good option for anyone that is a fan of pulse rifles and looking to do some damage in PvP. It again has a pretty decent rate of fire for a pulse, albeit, albeit a little less than Lincoln Green. But I'll stress again though, its perk set is designed for PvP. Its intrinsic perk, Lightweight Frame, improves your handling and strafing, both great perk, a great perk for PvP. What sets it apart from Lincoln Green is that it has better stability, range, and impact. The solid stability definitely makes it easier to land those headshots. It also has a perk called Kill Clip, which grants extra damage after you reload after a kill. As I said in my previous videos, I reload way too often. It's a really bad habit. That said, this perk really works well for those like me who can't seem to stop themselves from reloading after every kill. Pulse Rifle fans, medium range players, get this gun. Try it, and let me know in the comment section how it works out for you. At number three is the Better Devils. This is only hand cannon to make the list, as hand cannons tend to be the, the domain of the more skilled player. That said, the right hand cannon can be effective for anyone if used correctly. And this gun is just so rewarding to play with if you're accurate with your shot, folks. As with most hand cannons, it has an effective range where it will do the most damage. If you get outside of that, you'll see why hand cannons are not the meta right now in PvP. 
It has a really good rate of fire, and if you're pacing your shots well, you'll see other players go down pretty quickly. Now there are a ton of folks comparing this weapon to the future war cult's True Prophecy. But those that like that gun better, again, I'm not going to argue with you as True Prophecy hits just a bit harder and does have better range. However, Better Devils has better stability and handling, which is going to appeal more to some players. The reload speed is pretty bad for both of them. I just know for me, this gun feels better when I use it. And as I've said, and will continue to say, never underestimate how important a gun feels to you when deciding to play with it. Also, Better Devils does have explosive payload, which is essentially explosive rounds. If other players are bunched up, this is where you're going to be doing damage to multiple targets at once. It's a nice added perk. Finally, it's a pretty fun gun to play with in PvP. If you want to try something different, and who doesn't, then give this one a try. And number two is another rare gun type, the Antiope D submachine gun. I love this gun, folks, and I'll be honest, I'm still learning how to use it effectively. However, once you get the feel of this gun, it just melts people. There aren't going to be too many weapons that can outclass this weapon at close ranges, and close range is where submachine guns shine in Destiny 2. However, this gun stands out even in the, its class overall because of its awesome range for a submachine gun. It has a medium rate of fire for SMG, which makes it easier to use. Although the magazine is kind of small, and it does have a pretty slow reload, um, that's about all that I could find wrong with this gun. You will see many of the top tier players using this gun religiously, and with good reason. It is an absolutely amazing weapon for its role. Now, you must use it the way it is intended, and there will be plenty of opportunities to do that in Destiny 2 PvP. Close quarters engagements will make you feel really confident when you have this gun equipped. I like to fire from the hip a lot when I'm in the air, and it does surprisingly well when I do that. It's near the top of this list because it can also battle at medium distances pretty well too. And while I'm not the best at those ranges, it is possible. And finally, it's fun to use. Well, when you're winning your 1v1 duels and doing a lot due to this gun, what isn't fun about that? Coming in at the number one spot is one of my absolute favorite guns in Destiny 2, Origin Story. This gun was number two on the Kinetic Legendary list for PvE and grabs the number one spot for PvP. Listen folks, if you don't have this gun, you must get your hands on it. You can acquire it during the campaign from Zavala, where he gives you a choice between the Origin Story, Nameless Midnight, and Nightshade. They're all excellent weapons, and you wouldn't be wrong grabbing the awesome PvP, PvE heavyweight Nameless Midnight. But for overall excellence in both PvE and PvP, the origin story is the best choice. What makes this gun so special? First, it's an auto rifle with excellent impact, stability, and very, very manageable recoil patterns due to its intrinsic perk, Precision Frame. You will land headshots easily with this gun, folks. It has excellent range as well, able to compete at long distances with some scout rifles even. It has an excellent reload speed and sits at that perfect 450 RPM archetype for auto rifles. The base stats are some of the best in the game for auto rifles. What I find to be the reason I tend to do so much better in PvP when I'm using this weapon is the perk Rampage. Now Rampage gives you a damage boost every time you down another person and this can stack up to three times. The perk is really short but in PvP where players bunch up a lot these days the perk actually does matter. I get so many multi kills with this gun that I don't get with other guns. I mean, no joke. It's very noticeable to me how many more kills I get when I'm using this gun. This makes the gun so much fun to play with. And when I get out duel, when I have this gun equipped, I know it was one usually because I wasn't landing my shots, not the gun. It's usually because someone else actually is using Origin Story. Use this gun, folks, and see for yourself. Let me know in the comments section if this gun helps your PV put. PvP play too. I know it helps mine. And that's my list for the top five legendary kinetic weapons for PvP. Of course, all guns and their performance comes down to personal preference and what best fits your style of play. 
Let me know in the comments section which weapons you think I should have included in the top five. I'm sure the trials guns are a glaring omission to some of you out there. As always, I hope you found the content of this video helpful and certainly appreciate you watching. If you did find the video informative, a like is certainly appreciated and it does help us out. Of course, if you want more content on Destiny 2, remember to hit that subscribe button and click the bell next to it to get notifications when we post new videos. That's all for now. A sincere thanks to all you gamers out there, both casual and hardcore. Let's go and get our game on.